Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Travel Tech. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you how you can update your Android car system and get the latest version of the Z-Link app. And that will enable you in getting the wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay feature in case your Android head unit does not support it. But this video is all about screen mirroring and the Z-Link app for which I have shown you the update offers you a very versatile way of mirroring your phone screen onto the Android car screen. So let's not waste any time and jump in straight into the tutorial showing you how you can mirror your smartphone screen in both wired and wireless manner onto your Android car head unit which has a Z-Link app. So let's get started. So guys as you can see I have mounted my smartphone on the AC vent and here is my Android car system. So first of all make sure that your smartphone is connected to the internet. So as you can see here I have connected my smartphone to the Wi-Fi network and currently it is connected to the internet so what we need to do is first of all head into the app section of my android car theory system and as you can see i have the zlink 5 app right down here so if i go ahead and click on the zlink 5 app it is going to open up the home page screen where it shows the android auto home screen for carplay and android auto and it is going to switch between the two screens so here on the bottom right corner you can see two buttons one is the settings and another is the screen mirroring button if I go ahead and click on the screen mirroring button, it is going to head into the screen mirroring home screen and it is going to give you the option of both wired and a wireless mirroring. Okay, so as you can see now, here is the wired mirroring option. So this is currently at a wired mirroring home screen and in case if I want a wireless mirroring, the wireless mirroring option is provided at the left bottom corner of the screen. So first let me head into the wired mirroring section and show you how exactly you can go ahead and mirror your phone screen via a wired method so guys here is the usb type c cable and i'm going to plug it into the smartphone there you go i have plugged it and at the other end i have connected it down into the usb port of the car so as soon as i connected the cable i got a new pop-up saying zlink no installed apps work with this usb accessory so this pop-up will come up and on the screen right now this is a head unit reloaded pop-up so basically you won't be getting this if you don't have a head unit reloaded app on your android home stereo but since i have a head unit reloaded app i'm getting this kind of a pop-up so i just cancel it now so as soon as i cancel the pop-up so this is the home screen and this is going to provide you the steps regarding to how you can connect your smartphone via a wired method and on the smartphone guys so this is the pop-up which you're going to get and as i said previously it says no installed apps work with this usb accessory and learn more about this accessory at and they have provided a link at the bottom so all you need to do is go ahead and click on the view button so as soon as you click on the view button it is going to open up in a browser and you will get a notification that this file might be harmful do you want to download the particular file or the particular apk anyway so this will take you to a browser page where it is going to give you access to the specific app which is compatible with the Z-Link 5 on your Android car stereo system and you will get this pop-up that it might be harmful. So if you want to use the app you will need to download it. So I'm going to click on the download anyway button. So as you can see it is a Z-Link plus app and it's a version 1.1.19. So let me just go ahead and zoom in to show you guys. So as you can see it is a Z-Link app v1.1.19. So I'll just head into the download section and here is the particular app and i'm going to go ahead and click on it so right now as you can see here is the z plus app and uh, the smartphone is now currently asking me if i want to go ahead and install it so let's click on the install button so now as you can see a new pop-up has opened up and this time it is from google play protect and it says unsafe app blocked this app was built for an older version of android and doesn't include the latest privacy protections if I go ahead and click on the more details button, installing this may, installing this app may put your device at risk. Learn more about Play Protect. And you also have a button at the bottom saying install anyway. And if you want to cancel the installation, you can click on the OK button. So this is your particular preference. If you want to install the app, irrespective of the risks it comes along with, you can go ahead and click on the install anyway button. But if you don't want this app, just click on the OK and the app won't be installed on your smartphone. So, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and install it. So, I'll just click on the install anyway button. So, as you can see, the Z Plus app is currently getting installed on my smartphone. There you go. The app is installed 
and as soon as it gets installed i'll just click on the open button here and now guys as soon as you click on the open button it is going to ask you certain accessibility permissions now it is going to ask you to give it permission to appear on top of all the other apps so as you can see this is a appear on top permission which allows the app to show things on top of other apps so you'll need to scroll down and uh, head to the point where you get the z plus app so since it starts from z it'll probably at the bottom of the list so as you can see here is a z plus app i just click on the enable button and as soon as you click on the enable just head back and now as soon as you head back again it is going to ask you a new accessibility permission which is change system settings so as you can see this is a change system settings menu and again you have to scroll down at the bottom and then look down at the bottom of the list you will find the z plus app right here so again you have to give a permission to change the system settings so i just gave it permission and then again head back so now the app is opening up and uh, as you can see a new pop-up has come and it says usb connection wizard step one connect the central control screen with a usb cable and the green light is lit saying it is connected since i have connected my smartphone with a usb cable to the android head unit the second step is connect the phone to the central control screen bluetooth so you need to connect the bluetooth of your smartphone to your android car unit so you'll just go ahead and connect it by clicking this button here connect it's going to head into the bluetooth settings so i'll just turn on the bluetooth and here is my car that is honda wrv i'll just click on that and now it is connected to the android head unit of my car so now as you can see both the buttons are now green lit and now again at the bottom you find a large button saying start screen projection so if i go ahead and click on that now again there is a new notification asking z plus to access the z link click on the ok button now a new android pop-up asking to start recording or casting with the z plus option is going to pop up so head into the bottom and click on the start now button now again it is going to ask you to send notifications just click on allow and here you go successfully cast screen so as you can see here is a successful notification message and it says successfully cast screen now you can switch the app to the background please do not clear the background processes and at the bottom you have the option start using and disconnect well what has happened on the android car unit so if you can see now my android smartphone is currently projecting its screen on my android car stereo system and if i go ahead and click on the start using green color button on my android smartphone i have successfully projected the android smartphone screen onto the android head unit but you cannot control your smartphone via your android head unit and this is not touch responsive so only the display is going to be projected from your smartphone to your android head unit but you cannot control it so it's time now that i go ahead and show you how to go about in doing a wireless projection from your smartphone so for wireless projection to work first i'll just disconnect the usb cable uh, as you can see i have disconnected the usb cable and the head unit system has returned back to the home page of screen mirroring and previously as i showed you here is the wireless projection option at the bottom so as you can see here is the wireless mirroring button if i go ahead and click on that then it is going to head into a new page and it is asking me if i have an iphone or a android smartphone i'll just go ahead and click on android since i have an android phone and now it is going to pop up into a new screen where it is going to give you steps in how you can go about in connecting your android smartphone for a wireless projection but since i already have a z plus app installed on my smartphone as you just saw i'll just go ahead and head into the app section and scroll right till the end till i find the z plus app so as soon as i click on the z plus app now it is asking me to choose the connection mode so this app will give this particular notification when it's not connected via a usb cable and you get an option to connect it via both the methods that is usb connection and a wireless connection so i'll just head into the wireless connection button now again it is giving me the following two steps either step one is to connect the phone to the central control screen via bluetooth now it is connected already so now it is connected already as you just saw previously so the second step is to turn on the mobile hotspot so you need to turn on the smartphone's mobile hotspot and you need to connect the android car stereo system to the smartphone's android hotspot 
so i'll just click on the turn on button so it is going to take me into android settings where i can enable the mobile hotspot so i'll just click on the mobile hotspot right here so once the mobile hotspot has been turned on in my smartphone i have to head into my android car stereo system and open up the wi-fi settings and enable the wi-fi here so here is my mobile hotspot on top of the list and now it is connected so i'll just head back onto the home screen now after making sure that your android head unit is connected to your smartphone's mobile hotspot just head back and now as you can see both the buttons are now green lit and here is a start screen projection button i'll just click on that now again the same pop-up has come up which is asking me to start recording or casting with the z plus app I'll just click on the start now button so there you go here is the wireless projection successfully completed and now my smartphone screen is being wirelessly projected on my android car stereo system so in the same way it projected using a wired system now if i go ahead and click on the green colored start using button it's going to head into the home screen of the smartphone and now as you can see i don't have any usb wire connecting to my smartphone but still the smartphone screen is being connected and the response again is almost instantaneous there is only maybe a half a second lag to one second lag and that's really acceptable and if i go ahead and open up the google maps i'll just turn the smartphone to a landscape mode and again in the wireless projection method guys as you can see the screen doesn't respond on your android head unit so anything which you need to control you will need to access your smartphone in order to control so now the vlc player has opened up on my smartphone and it is currently projected on my android head unit and if i go ahead and click on some uh, movie right here so here you go as you can see the movie is currently being projected now this is a john wick 4 movie and right now i can watch it on my android head unit and the response is pretty good as you can see they both have a simultaneous response an almost instantaneous response and the most wonderful thing is that this is being projected wirelessly there is no wired connection to my smartphone and the response is pretty much instantaneous that's it it's as simple as that and if you have this version this particular version of the zlink app you will be able to mirror your phone screen in both wired and wireless manner based on your convenience and based on your preference and guys if you have any doubts or queries regarding this entire tutorial you can write down in the comments below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and also guys this video has taken a lot of effort and planning to bring in front of you so in case if you do recognize that effort make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button of travel tech right away and also do not forget to like this video many more interesting videos are coming up in the future so thank you for watching and until next one see you